The Messerschmitt BF 109 Zietz filling was constructed by two BF 109 Fs, joined with a new wing center section and a new tailplane. The cockpit on the right fuselage was covered, and the pilot controlled the aircraft from the left fuselage. The Zwilling also had a modified undercarriage, the fuselage was strengthened and the wings were modified. The aircraft was intended for use as an interceptor, armed with five 30mm cannons. It could also carry a 1,000kg bomb load. A fighter-bomber version was also planned, armed with two Mk-108 cannons and two 1,000kg bombs. These two versions would use the Daimler-Benz DB605 engine. Two more versions were planned, which were to be powered by Junkers Jumo 213 engines. Only one BF-109Z was built. It was destroyed in an Allied air raid in 1943 and was never flown. The project was abandoned in 1944. The Messerschmitt BF-109TL was proposed in early 1943. It was intended as a backup, if the newly developed Messerschmitt ME-262 did not come to production, or as a second jet fighter that could operate alongside the ME-262. The plan was to use components from the planned BF-109H high-altitude fighter, and components from the Blohm & Foss BV-155 high-altitude interceptor. The cockpit was from the BF-109E or G, the wing was from the ME-409, and the undercarriage was from the ME-309. By using existing components, development time was to be reduced. The engine that would be used was the Junkers Jumo 004B1 turbojet, or the BMW 003A. The aircraft would have been armed with two 20mm MG-15120 cannons, and two MK-103 cannons mounted in the nose. There was also a proposal for two MK-108 cannons, mounted in the wing roots. While the performance was estimated to be better than the ME-262, the project was abandoned in March 1943. The reason for this was that too many additional modifications would be needed. The rocket-powered Heinkel HE-176 was a pre-World War II design, built to utilize an experimental engine based on the work of Helmuth Voltaire. The HE-176 was designed as a tiny, simple aircraft and was made mostly out of wood. The cockpit was however advanced and totally enclosed. The aircraft was also fitted with a unique jettisonable nose escape system. The nose was separated from the rest of the aircraft using compressed air, with a drogue chute used to reduce the required opening force. The canopy was then released and the pilot could bail out using a conventional parachute. The Heinkel HE-176 was to be the research aircraft for a new type of interceptor. The design had elliptical wings, that also contained the hydrogen peroxide fuel. On June 20, 1939, the aircraft performed the world's first manned rocket flight. The aircraft could climb to 8,000 meters in 2.5 minutes, and had a maximum speed of 466 miles per hour. There was however no interest for the aircraft, and Heinkel's rocket propulsion program was abandoned. Only one Heinkel HE-176 prototype was constructed. The prototype was destroyed in an Allied bomb raid in 1943.